Hello guys, welcome to my channel How to Learn. In this video, I want to explain about how to dockerize our Spring Boot application using Chip plugin. Okay. In our previous videos, we have explained how to dockerize a Java Hello World program and dockerizing our Spring Boot application. But in both these videos, we are using Docker file. But now we will eliminate Docker file by using this Chip plugin, guys. Okay. Let's know some more, some more information about the Chip plugin. It will build containers without a Docker file or requiring a Docker installation. Okay, let's check uh, the difference like how the life is before zip and after zip plugin. Before the zip plugin, we have to add Docker file to our project and then Docker will create an image and we have to push it into Docker Hub. Okay, now we have to add the zip plugin to our project and we can zip will take care of building an image and pushing the image to Docker Hub. Right, it's became very easy after inter introducing a zip plugin. Okay, and let's know more about this zip plugin. What it will do means it will try to optimize our image size. Okay, which will improve the performance and it will also help in us in portability uh, and uh, it will also keep our application very fast. Okay, and it is a plugin which we need to add into a pom.xml for utilizing this the, um, this zip plugin okay now let's start with creating a spring boot application first okay guys and let's start with new spring starter project that's in my local i have 17 so i'm selecting java version 17 and then need packaging jar and type as maven only let's change it to spring jeep okay and let's click on next let me add spring web here and let's click on next and finish let's wait for a few seconds before that i want to show you some other things okay it is a command i can say like it is the build command used for building our spring boot application we have to we need some prerequisites if we want to use this zip plugin okay first of all you should have a docker hub account guys okay and you have you should have jdk installed in our mission and id for using java okay and another thing is usually in our file manager we have this dot md folder right dot m2 folder i think you guys are java developers i don't want to explain more about this settings.xml so what you need to do means we have to add docker hub url and your username password in this settings.xml okay i will what i will do means i will just paste this link in description and you can just copy this settings.xml file and you have to replace username and password in these two places and add it to into our dot m2 folder okay guys i hope you understand and let's check it it's still building let's wait for a few seconds meanwhile we have to add this let's copy this uh, zip plugin sorry guys i have clicked on this java 11 futures let me try to copy this thing okay okay let's expand this form.xml here it will take so much time for loading gas now only we have created this project and let's copy this plugin here okay no worries i will explain what are these things let me try to paste it here let's wait it's loading Meanwhile, I will explain this plugin. If you observe here in the configuration, we are saying registry.hub.docker.com forward slash anilapana forward slash spring budget. Okay, it is nothing but our Docker Hub URL and it is nothing but our namespace and it is nothing but our repository, guys. Okay, let's wait for a few seconds. It's still loading. Now let's try to paste the plugin here and let's save it and now let's copy this command okay sorry guys wait uh, i want to copy this thing compile zip build now let's try to 
and the maven will be here okay let's give the goal as compile zip build and we have to mention our jdk version and let's click on run now let's wait for a few seconds it will take some time for creating the image and pushing it to the docker hub okay okay there is some issue here invalid image okay it cannot have uppercase letters okay let's do one thing it's saying it should not have uppercase letters let's try to give the smaller case letters and let's remove the special characters also now let's try to run the build again okay let's click on okay now let's wait for a few seconds let the build complete if you observe here it's trying to get a base image okay every docker image will be built on a base image right so that is what happening here let's wait for a few seconds and finally our g plugin have done it guys without a docker file we are able to create an image and push that to our docker hub okay you can also just check it here the image got pushed few minutes ago it means we have successfully implemented spring boot